Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all, it's Vlogmas Day 16. Oh, man, we moving along here. Seemed like the other day was just number two or three. We up to 16. So, if you don't understand what Vlogmas is, you're supposed to post a video from the 1st of December all the way up to Christmas. I got started late, so that means I got to go all beyond Christmas till I get 25 of these in. That mean I got nine more to go if I'm doing my numbers right. So, yeah, this is Vlogmas Day 16. We're going to go all the way up to 25 Vlogmas. So, anyway, let's get started here. Today, I'm going to show y'all how to make a very easy toffee. You know, you can't have Christmas without toffee. Christmas toffee just goes the same. And I'm going to show you a simple way, foolproof way, to make a delicious toffee with chocolate and pecans on it. Then you got your butter and sugar in it, so let's get started here. Okay, y'all. First thing I do, I got a little, you know, a little, 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 little nine by nine casserole dish here. This is what I use for it. If, if you don't have this, you can use some kind of pan or something. And I'll put my uh, parchment paper in it so it'll come out easier later on. So any kind of usually a nine by nine pan will work. If you don't have that, just try to improvise what you have. So uh, let's get started here. Let me get my stove going on here, heating up. I'm gonna put my butter, my sugar, and a little water in here. We're gonna make our toffee with this here. Let me move y'all over here. Move y'all up in here so you can see what I'm doing. Now what I wanna do y'all, I wanna bring this up to 300 degrees. And like I told y'all the other day in a previous video, I think when I did my prime rib, we're going to bring this to a boil. And you make sure you stir it all the way through. You see this little, let me get it cut on here. I got a little handy thermometer here. See this? And what I'm going to do, cut it on good if I cut it on here. And then I'm going to put it up to 300 degrees. Going down, huh? There we go. I want to go up to 300 degrees, y'all. Here we go here. And that's going to be the hard, the crack stage. You got different stages when you're making candy. And I want to get it up to the There we go. I got it set there. And once this get to boiling, cause I ain't gonna put it in there right now, but once it really, 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 this thing really get to bubbling and boiling, I'm gonna stick that in there and see if it come up to the, to the uh, hard ball stage, y'all. It's gonna be my toffee right here. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna come right back here. Once this get to boiling, but right now, it's going to take a while for it to come up to boiling. And once it start boiling, come back, and I'm going to show you the procedure. Like I say, it's going to take about it's gonna take about 10 minutes once you get to boiling. And it really get up the temperature like I want it. And this, all this is is a cup of butter, a cup of sugar, which is two sticks of butter is a cup of butter. A cup of sugar, granulated sugar, a little water, and that's all the uh, co toffee going to be. And I'm going to show you the net. And oh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to put my pecans in the bottom, a couple of pecans in the bottom of my dish here. Let me show y'all. See that? Put a couple of pecans in right here in the bottom of this, uh, of my little dish. My little casserole dish here. Go and get that going. And then when I get back, <clears throat> When this comes up the ball, we'll pour that in there. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Let me show y'all my thermometer here. You can see it here. So 233. You definitely want to keep stirring this, y'all. This will burn on you quick. 237. to 
240. Two forty two, right here. <clears throat> so y'all see when it's bubbling, that the thing is to keep stirring it. Do not just do not let it go by itself without stirring. That's very important. I'm up to two forty nine. And you can use a traditional candy thermometer, but I use this. Another thing, do not let this stuff splash on you, y'all. Do not let it splash on you. Now you will never forget that experience. I'm up 253 now. 260. Bring down 260. You'll sit in 262. Sixty four, two six, two seventy one. Oh, yeah, almost there, y'all. I got my pan here close. Then the two seventy one, two seventy three, two seventy six, two eighty two. Once it come up at 300, I'm gonna put my vanilla. Y'all know I never put my vanilla in until at the end because if you put it in the beginning, you don't get the full taste of vanilla, y'all. It'll cook out of there. $282. Look at that. You can just tell it's just almost to that point, y'all. You can tell, look at that. You can just tell. A little bit more. Got 284, 285, 290. Now it's 294. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this off. 300. See this y'all, one of 303, look at that. 307, turn it off. Take this out of here. Make sure you keep stirring it. Pour the vanilla in here. Pour your vanilla in there. Oh man, that smells amazing, y'all. Stir that vanilla in there. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Make sure your vanilla is fully incorporated in there, y'all. See that thing in the color? Nice color there. Now. Once it's fully incorporated, I'm going to pour it right up on top of these pecans here. I'm going to show y'all in a second what I did. I'm going to turn it over here. Okay, y'all see that? Pour it right on top of the pecans. Now I'm going to let this sit here about two minutes. Just right here, like two minutes. I'm going to let it sit here while I put my thermometer in this water here and let it I can wash it out. Just two minutes. I'm gonna let that sit two minutes. After two minutes, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pour these chocolate chips on there and I'm gonna cover it in foil and let nature do its course and and, and melt them chips with the heat of the with, with the heat of the uh, 
coffee. So we'll be right, and we'll be right back in about two minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Now, the chocolate chips. Now, all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to sprinkle them right on top of here, y'all. Nice chocolate chip. We're going to sprinkle them right on top of here. Make sure you get all in the edges and everywhere. All in the crevices. All in there. some fall here. I'm going to let you cover this up for about five minutes. Just let it sit just like that. For about five minutes. Push that over. In the meantime, I'm going to take some of these pecans here and kind of just, you know, chop them up because this is going to be a little garnish. I'm going to put on the top of this chocolate. in the bowl. That's going to be my little garnish there. Okay. Alright, y'all. Five minutes covered. Y'all with me now. Don't open it up or nothing for five minutes. We'll be right back in five minutes. I'm going to show you what's the next step going to be. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. It's been five minutes here. Now look. I'm going to take the top off of here. All I'm going to do, y'all, we're going to slowly just smooth that chocolate over just like that. See that? See that? See what I'm doing? Be very gentle with it, y'all. Look at that. Smooth the chocolate all the way over the top. Look at that. See that? Can y'all see that? Yes, you can. Now, now, with those little pecans I had, I'm going to put them right on top, just like that. Just like that. Just like that, y'all. Okay, now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. For one hour. I'm going to let it tear for one hour in the fridge. See that? See how that looks? See that? Y'all got that. One hour in the fridge. And after one hour, we're going to come back. We're going to take it out. And I'm going to show you the final result. This is the easiest way to make topper, y'all. Very simple. Some people are intimidated by making candy and stuff like that. You get your little thermometer. That's all you need. Get the sugar and the... Uh, Butter up to uh, 300 degrees, take it off, pour it in the thing. Put a little chocolate on there. You don't even have to melt the chocolate. You can just let nature do it. Well, it's like I'm not going to even cover this when I put it in the refrigerator. And just let nature help you melt the chocolate. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back in one hour. We'll flip this out, and we're going to show you some old school top Christmas toffee. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. It's been a little bit over an hour. And all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to take this up out of here. Take this, uh, take this parchment off of here. Made a little mess there. Hold a second, y'all. One second here. Shock it all over. Okay. Now I'm gonna get a knife here. Put this over here. Now, you can cut this any way you want to cut it, y'all. Any way you want to cut it. You can break it up. Cut it up. Look at this. Look at this top here, y'all. Mm. Amazing. Look at this here. Look at that. Give y'all a close up of that candy. Look at that. 
what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna cut this up. I'm gonna put it on the. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. I'm gonna put it on the plate. I'm gonna come back and show y'all the finished product. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back for the final time of Vlogmas. Vlogmas number 16. Look at this copy, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. I got a piece right here. Let me show you. Look at that. Oh, my God. Let me try this. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my God. I literally, y'all, hmm. hmm. it's so buttery. Hmm. Okay, y'all. You actually can cook this and give it these gifts, you know? Christmas gifts, y'all. Hmm. Y'all see how simple it was. And quick. Take long at all, y'all. To really make this. The only part was letting it cool in the fridge for an hour. So it is set up. But anyway, y'all. Vlogmas Day 16 is in the books. So if you like this video, please share, please subscribe. Please uh, comment. Look at the little piece right here that fell off, y'all. Look at that. Look at that piece. Look at that piece. Mm. Wow. It's so good. Nice and crunchy. And the buttery. But please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest. And OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021. Help somebody. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Which will be tomorrow. Vlogmas Day 16. Done.